It's no secret that I, along with the Hoover family, lawyers and friends are fighting hard for Larry Hoover's freedom that the First Step Act law says he deserves. Meanwhile, this dude Wack and Karen Chapman has taken a position to work against the Hoover family by trying to monetize off his name and withhold footage that could contribute to his freedom. So if it's one thing this whack dude is telling the truth about is that I don't fuck with him. When I was in LA talking to this lying ass nigga, never once did he take the position he was partners in the theft of the Hoover families like he's doing on that rehearsed conversation with them clowns. Now, what he is not telling the truth about is why. So listen up. There's a woman by the name of Karen Chapman that was entrusted by the Hoover family to interview Larry Hoover with the understanding of bringing the interview back to the family. She decided to run off with the interview and a fake fraud contract claiming Larry Hoover signed all his rights away for nothing. Larry Hoover is far from being a dummy, so for Wack and Karen to be taking a position on disrespecting the Hoover family by attempting to sell Larry Hoover likeness without the family permission is a mistake for whomever considering buying it. I've been around a long time, and I know when someone is trying to set me up with police conversations. So I won't lip wrestle with you cake-ass niggas on Clubhouse. But I tell you what, I don't know if you were violated on the block or what, but all that snake jealousy and hate shit you have in your heart, niggas, bring that shit to Dr. Prince, and I'm going to cure you of that disease. Let me say this to the homies in L.A. and around the world. All money is not good money. And a nigga that will kiss a rat in the mouth for any amount of money is capable of anything, like sending you on a suicide mission to laugh at you. Read the wisdom between the lines and don't follow this clown off a cliff.